The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Ah, a mysterious wanderer. What brings you to this place? Is it knowledge you seek? Then it is knowledge you shall receive. With the rise of generative artificial intelligence, the ability to create media based on your ideas is much easier. In this video, we will have a short demonstration on how to use Stable Diffusion and Control Net to remake animations in a different style. To start off, you should have installed Stable Diffusion Web UI onto a Python environment on your computer with a GPU of at least 8 gigabytes. On the Web UI, go to Extensions and search for the Stable Diffusion Control Net extension and install that. After the installation, you will have to refresh the program to reflect the changes in the environment. Before you get started on converting the video into another style, you will want to test out various models, prompts, and control net settings on a particular frame of the video to get an idea of what you will produce. Civit AI and Hugging Face are two platforms where you could search for stable diffusion models trained on various styles. Combining it with a LoRa model trained on the likes of the characters in the video would also be useful Feed the frame into the image to image module, adjust the resolution settings accordingly, and type in relevant prompts to the style as follows. Remember to also add in the activation words, like the name of the character and style. For the control net module, insert the same frame you're testing your settings out on. There are various control net preprocessors and models for various purposes. But for our case, we will be using the line art realistic preprocessor with the following model. Running the generation with the prompts and the control net settings, we get the following result, which is a decent anime version of Bastila Shan. Now we know the settings which produces a style we want, we can proceed to the animation module. Click on this button and copy the random number generator seed, which you will place over here under the SDCN animation module. Copy and paste the prompts and control net settings you used in the image to image module and enable the control net module. The input image will not be necessary here as the extension inputs the relevant frames. Adjust the width and height here according to the resolution of your video. Depending on the capacity of your GPU, you may need to scale it down. Drop your video here and enable the checkbox under the generate button to save your frames as a separate picture. Click on Generate to begin the work. The process will take a while, so you can spend that time honing your other skills. And after hours of rendering, we get the following result. Notice the flickering of the AI animation. This is still inherent for many styles, as for now, but you can do some things to mitigate this effect. A way to enhance the product is to use additional tools to enhance its quality, such as old film restorers and upscalers. Using those, we get our final product as seen here. And that is it for this quick tutorial. I hope this was useful for you. If you are interested in more generative AI Star Wars content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.